Yo, what up? It's Dill, and today I'm going to be showing you how my rareable asset looks on OpenSea. I'm also going to be talking about some of the positives and negatives about rareable versus OpenSea, so let's get into it. When I first minted my asset on rareable, I wanted to know how it would look on OpenSea, and I wasn't aware, but it actually looks really great on OpenSea. So you can go right here, and you see if I click my Crypto Rich Deluxe NFT. So I just added it on here yesterday and I actually see an update now to the price history. So it looks like it, it's been updating the price now um, based on when the sales occur. So that's awesome. And I think it looks really great here. I didn't realize that it was gonna transfer. Yeah, I could make a million on a blockchain. So yeah, you can see that it looks pretty good on there. And I was pleasantly surprised to find out that actually OpenSea has a lot of other benefits about this platform that actually look much better. So yeah, I like OpenSea. I created my profile here. And you can see now that all of my assets actually come up and you can see everything displays perfectly. It's a rareable asset. It shows that how many are left, 87 left. It shows the last one at 0.25 ETH where the last sale was earlier today. You can click in and view it. Shout out to Scientific Ray. Shout out to Alexander. You know, the NFTS.tips community. Shout out to all of you. And you can see that it basically has a great display that is very compatible with rareable. And so now I want to talk about some of the positives and negatives about Rarible versus OpenSea. So OpenSea is probably better for one of ones. That's what I can say about OpenSea. It seems to have a big marketplace with a lot of different creators. And this seems to be a popular place where people like to do auctions and one of ones. So whether it's an auction for a one of one or a fixed sale price for a one of one, you can do that here on Rarible. Uh, I'm sorry, on OpenSea. Now let's go to Rarible. So Rarible, I would say, is better for collections where you want to do like one of 100, for example. And also, I really do like the layout of Rarible. I think it has a great user interface. It looks great. They also have different currencies and and a lot of different ways to bid here. So I think Rarible is cool because they have a little bit more functionality and you can mint collections very easily. So I was very easily able to do this one of 100 for Crypto Rich. So yeah, that's a brief overview about OpenSea versus Rarible. I hope you find some value in this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys and go check out the Crypto Rich Deluxe NFT. It's going up. Skirt.